Hi there, Gemini, and welcome into your November intuitive card reading. Um, I do apologize that you're getting this more around mid-November. Uh, my family and I, we got, you know, the cold that's been going around as well as, <laughs> as these very intense eclipse energies really knocked me on my butt and had to do a lot of healing and processing. But I am here now and able to read for you. So thank you all for being patient and for being here. My name is Christy Whistler. I am an intuitive and evolutionary astrologer, and I'm also a healer. So if you find that you are really struggling right now, I do offer these private intuitive readings as well as astrology birth chart readings. So we can see uh, where the planets are lining up for you and what your soul is calling for you to do right now. And please like this video and subscribe to this channel. That helps to get this out there to more people like you who are ready to transform. All right, Gemini. So this is going to be for my Gemini sun, moon, and rising signs. Or if you have a lot of Gemini in your chart, then this message is for you. Okay, so Spirit, what does Gemini need to know for this November? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have sacrifice number 44. And then we have the heart of sky. Okay, so. Okay, Gemini, so this is beautiful. So Taurus also got this sacrifice in reversed energy. Uh, it's number 44. So um, really be sure to look out for numbers right now, especially 4-4, four, 4-4-4. Four, 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 four. Um, uh, you may be finding a lot of guidance coming in for you, um, really around trust and building a solid foundation. Now, the sacrifice, what have you been holding on to? Okay, what old patterns, old beliefs that have been keeping you stuck, Gemini? in your life, holding you down? Where have you sacrificed yourself too much, your dreams? Now, this is this reclaiming of that, of yourself. Um, you are making sacred of this act of letting all that old go and coming back into yourself, your desires. You are sacred, Gemini. And now this, which is absolutely beautiful because this heart of sky, this is saying that you, you are, you, you are, this, this is a sacred reminder. You are a sacred reminder for yourself. Um, you are this channel for this creation energy. You are really coming into this energy of being the paintbrush, this canvas, this artist, and then you are being guided from above what it is that you are creating, birthing. There's this, in this act of releasing all that heaviness and stuckness, all those old beliefs, letting those go and doing so. It's like you are really awakening into your ability to be this divine channel and to create something new and amazing. So really focus right now on this November of setting your intention. Be very clear, be very ethical of what that is. And, and this will make manifest. This universe will create it. It will take the details of what's needed. It's like, it's like the universe is taking the details to create what's needed. And you just have your energy be in this allowance of this, of what is ready to come forward for you. Okay, let's see what else we've got coming through, Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know for November? What do you need to know, Gemini? I am presence.
personal power. Okay, and you want this one out too. Truth. Okay. All right, Gemini. So let's see what we have here. Now, um, some of you, this, this energy that's been blocked can very well be around your throat chakra, around speaking your truth, um, being in your truth, being in your power. And so you, this November, have been really healing that. Um, where have you sacrificed your voice for others? Where have you sacrificed your power for others, your confidence, your willingness to go to the beat of your own drum? And you are calling that back in. Like you're releasing whatever that old pattern and energies were, you're letting it go. You are le releasing that to go to the world, um, to the universe. And it's like, as you do, you are moving more into this, this ability to be this divine channel. You're moving more into yourself. I am moving more into this divine flow, this presence of who you are. And it's like you're coming into your truth. You're coming into your power because you've let go of everything that was holding you back from that. And in doing so, it's like you become more and more connected to your higher self, to your reason for being here. So you can be that pain for us, that artist and create the thing that you and you alone are here to create on this earth. Okay, let's see what the astrology has to say. Okay, yeah, see? Oh, this is just beautiful. Okay, so Gemini, we've got Aries here for you. So this is going to be very much about being your unique individual self, going your way, trailblazing new directions, following your desires. And then look at that, Neptune. So yes, you are through this journey, this process, especially this November, you were moving into this... Um, this divine flow, okay, this I am presence, this flow, and yet still, okay, being your unique individual self and balancing both and bringing it into this world. And then here we have is the third house. This is your house, Gemini. So really open to being curious, um, especially, you know, yeah, and curious around what this energy has been for you, where you've been held back in your power, in your truth. What is that? What is the deeper reason? Be curious of what that is. Ask questions. Follow your curiosity. Follow the threads is what I'm hearing. Um, and that's going to really help. That's going to really help you to release this energy because you're understanding it. Like you're mentally able to see it, understand it. And in doing so, instead of hiding from it or tucking it away, I'm getting a lot of um, Pluto transformation energy in this reading as well. Um, you're, you're transforming this, this um, blocked throat chakra, this blocked solar plexus. You're coming into your voice, your truth, and in your power through this. And again, it's just so beautiful, this you being this divine channel, and yet still being your individual self. And I will say as well that um, we have, okay, so Mars is in Gemini right now, retrograde, and has been square to Neptune, and will pretty much be square with Neptune the entire time Mars is retrograde. So you may not actually have a lot of understanding at first around what this is, this block. Um, but keep looking for the right door, the right doors even, more than one, what that will be for you. Keep looking for that truth. Keep your focus on this healing because you're not going to feel stuck with this energy forever. It will shift. All right, let's see what else we have coming through for you, Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know? All right, clearing energy for Gemini. Okay. 
Okay. We have the hearth. Ninth house. Uh. All right, more clearing for you guys. Okay, these just literally fell in my lap. We've got mid heaven. Pinnacle, and then we have, oh gosh, retrograde review. Okay, that's just perfect. All right, so, um, okay, Gemini, what am I seeing here? Yeah, you, the hearth, the home, you may be doing a lot of healing in regards to this. The, um, this could be like within your home. Um, where you were not allowed to be in your truth or your power, that can be some of this energy that's coming through for some of you. Again, this is collective. And I'm just feeling focus, focus. You may have a really hard time focusing right now. Um, but again, it's not going to last forever um, because you... Okay, so you are on this period of review right now, okay? You are really reviewing and looking at this truth, your throat, your soul expression, your power. Why has that been what it has been? Like, why has that been blocked? Why haven't you been allowed free to be in your confidence, your power, free to speak, speak your truth, okay? So... Yes, absolutely, like this real energy of reflection of what has this been for you that's been stuck, that's keeping you from really coming into your I am presence and your ability to be a channel. So explore. Be curious, okay, and go explore. Focus on that exploration as much as you can. Um, again, Mars is retrograde, so... Um, Metrograde in Gemini. So again, that focus can be very hard, but just keep at it. Keep exploring. And I will say as well is the ninth house is ruled by Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter's also retrograde in Pisces. So a real time to review and reflect. Jupiter will be going direct on the 23rd of November. Um, at this new moon that we're having just after the new moon it will be direct um, same day though so you may actually find um, Gemini that you're gonna get some clarity around that time and for some of you like you're really here to bring this in out into this world like you um, it's almost like this journey is going to be part of the pinnacle of your soul like there's um. It's like this mountain. There are many mountains for your soul to work through to really come into this alignment of this I am presence, but this is a big one for some of you, a really big one. And um, being seen out in the world, in your truth, in your power, being this divine channel, and, and really being able to even explore what that means for you. Like there's, through this releasing that you're doing and the shifting of these energies, like you are going to really expand and explore this in a whole new way. And it's really going to surprise you. And it may very well surprise the world. Like that could be the career for some of you. Whew. Yeah. Lots of energy around that. Okay. What else for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know? Oh my goodness. View from above. Get the big picture. I think this card has come out um, three times, four times today. Answering the call. The time is now. Choose your path. All if possible. Okay, we'll do one more. Oh, look at that. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Oh, Gemini, I love that for you. Okay, Gemini, so yes, <laughs> um, you are, you are going to know when the time is to answer the call. Um, and it's because like, as you go within and you do this review and this, um, 
reflection. It's going to give you that higher vantage point, that greater understanding of what this is and then how to act and move forward to answer this energy and what it needs to be. Like you're going to know and you will know when it is time to move forward and choose your path. And that's going to be different for each of you and your healing journey. But like you're going to have that focus and that just knowing, that clear intuitive knowing, that guidance coming from on high, from within yourself. And for some of you, you really need to know that everything is possible. The path that is calling you is possible and you will know when it is time. Oh gosh, I, it's like I almost see like many different paths and it's like it's going to come from nowhere and all of a sudden those other paths are going to fade away and you are going to be like this one. This is the one that I am going to. This is my truth, who I am, my power, and you will then know to, it is time to walk with very clear direction um, and going and exploring what that is. And as you do, you're coming into this, this divine um, creation, you being this channel, and it's going to bring you so much abundance, Gemini. So much is going to be shifting and changing your life. Um, and again, for some of you, really very much out in the world, your career, you're going to be very successful because no one else is going to be doing what you're doing because you are bringing in from this higher wisdom. Okay, let's add in some final messages for Gemini. Ooh. This deck is always so challenging to shuffle. Okay, so Gemini. <laughs> I did have to shuffle very far. <laughs> okay, um, path of least resistance. When all doors seem to be closed, it is because you have not tried to open the correct one just yet. See, Gemini, you are absolutely going to know which door is meant for you, which path is meant for you. Don't keep banging. Oh my gosh, and I love it. There's a door right here. Don't keep banging on the door that's closed. If you find that the door is closed, just walk away and let it be. It's not yours, okay? Oh man, I'm feeling that energy too of that letting it go. What is it even that's making you continue to keep banging on that door or the next one? in not finding yours. So for some of you, there's there's energy in there that you are holding on to and being in this block. Oh, no way. <laughs> divine channel. See, you are a divine channel. You work with your angels and guides to deliver messages that assist you, that assist others on their spiritual path. Okay, so this one just came out for Aries, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. And, um, Again, for you, here we have divine channel. You are a divine channel. And some of you are, yes, you are meant to work with others on their path to find theirs, not yours, but theirs. Okay, we've got reevaluation. It is time to reevaluate your present circumstance and begin to make changes where changes are needed. See, we've got, there's that retrograde energy, like spirits coming in so clear with you guys. And they told me to look on the bottom. Okay, heart opening. Oh, I said Aries, didn't I? I meant Taurus. Taurus has been getting these cards. This was also a card from Taurus, too. And I shuffled these decks in between readings. So look at that, Gemini. Um, okay, um, this is about someone you know. Um, may even be you is withholding love and creating a very emotionally painful experience for everyone involved. So for others of you, this real... Where's love been conditioned? Okay, go on that reflection, that journey to heal that, where that may be stuck for you. And again, if you do need support um, with this, if you're really stuck in this healing, please reach out. I do offer these uh, intuitive readings as well as astrology birth chart readings so we can see what your soul is wanting to move towards and evolve towards. Uh, but Gemini, this is really beautiful. Like there's there's a lot that's going to be coming through for you this November. Um, 
you're probably going to find some more and more clarity coming right as Jupiter again um, goes direct on the 23rd and then you might find even more when Mars itself goes direct um, early January but I feel like you're going to start to like um, those those other paths are going to start to disappear for you and you're going to you're going to know clearer and clearer each step that you take as you look higher and higher of what has been holding you back why these doors have been closed and for some of you too when you know why they've been closed then you're going to be able to really say okay that's not my door and find the one that is so you may be needing to really evaluate that why so you can go into what is the one meant for you um gosh but this is so beautiful jen and i again like you're going to find your door coming into your abundance in this this energy that you and only you are bringing in is unique to you and yes you are meant to bring it out into the world oh gemini this is wonderful thank you for sharing your energy with me this is just so beautiful and please leave a comment let me know how this unfolds for you uh, in this november and going forward i would love to support you and cheer you on and please like this video and subscribe to this channel that helps me out a whole bunch Thank you so much for watching Gemini, and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.